Hello and welcome back to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. So, well, last time we left off at Trestle Bridge. We are helping the people of the North Downs assemble the Council of the Free Peoples, but before we start working on that, there are a couple of things to check. As you see here, we have acquired a new skill, Shield Slam. This is for interruptions and is one of the new skills that were added in the last update so we're gonna move that towards here and have it in handy and well we have also acquired a reversal and ranged reversal that was well that's the corruption removal for wardens but wardens before got the skill or the gambit at level 50 52 I think it was but now it's on level 20 so we got the gambit retroactively and I think that's it let us check the hobbit presence really quick uh, so what do we have here oh well, we have uh, the armor of the Hernberg defender that's for the release of Helm's Deep on the legendary servers what's this uh, reputation tome an XP supply, that is my coming handy for later. Uh, virtue acceleration as well. And what else do we have here? Get all this in here. And we got the Slayer and Skill Dead Boosts. This is the thank you gift for the recent downtime the game experienced. Let's apply the Virtue XP in here. We got 10 medallions on more virtue XP. And with all this out of the way, we are ready to continue our adventure. But actually, let us just apply this since we are over leveled for the quests in uh, Trestle Bridge. Just activating the option to be able to see the quest giver is on the minimap as I think there are a couple of these quests that are worth doing would you do something for me? I have half a mind to lock up every last guard in the sorry excuse for a town after they let this catastrophe take place look at our town people burnt out of their homes ash falling like snow Aggie Dickwit was the only one who kept her mind during this attack if not for her we would all be dead Nobody even remembers what happened, just Aggie running to and fro trying to rouse everyone. I don't see that table hint and hang for letting this happen, mark my words. Trestle Bridge was recently under attack, and I think only Boskins in here is gonna give us more information on that. A Council of Esteldin, have you taken leave of your senses, man? Are you unaware of the dangers facing this town, the constant attacks we must endure? These men in the east, if they truly cared about the threats facing Trestle Bridge, they would help us here with the orcs. We would not have had to suffer as we have. I, we, lost all those dear to us. No, I shall not come to this council nor anything else, and I shall not be convinced otherwise. Now, if you have no other business, leave me to sit to the defense of this town. So if you remember from, from the previous uh, episode, yeah, the town was recently under the attack of works I believe it was and that's why it's on the state it is and now that we're talking about the previous episode let me also well apologize for the delay on getting this one uploaded as you might have guessed uh, real life got in the way as it usually happens so there were some matters I had to attend to that that were, didn't give me the time I needed to, to record and, uh, and play, so that's why. And this is the armor of the Hornbrook Defender. I think it looks cool, and it's a nice design. Um, but maybe not for a man of Gondor. I mean, it's more neutral looking, it, it's not as, as rohiric as, as, as some of the other armors. It looks cool, nonetheless. I might try that one on another character. 
Ah, uh, subscriber pops. I have not gotten this on Berrithan yet. Uh, okay. Me. Captain Trotter is very preoccupied with punishing those who slept through the attack, but I am much more concerned about what may happen if we let down our guard again. I have not slept in two days, but I will not abandon my post here. Would you be willing to help me? I don't know if you can help me. I dare not abandon my guard post to investigate the carnage, but would you like to help? You could search the town and figure out how this could have happened. The explosion was deafening. Why did no one wake? What caused this mayhem? I have never heard a thing like it in all my life. We're gonna investigate the town. And there is... Another quest in here. Could I speak with you a moment? Someone to hear me out at last. Yes, I was on guard duty the night of the blasts, but I did not fall asleep. Well, I did, but I cannot remember anything about it. It is almost like I was drugged. I only remember waking up to Aggie shaking me, fires roaring all around us. We all slept through the thunderous blasts. How do you explain that? But Captain Troyer will hear none of it. So we're gonna go to the York encampments in just a bit. Right after we finish investigating what happened to the town. An exploded barrel at me is the rubble covered in a fine black powder. What else? There's another one. And the other one is in here. Very well. Oh, we bring this to the captain. What can I do for you? What's this then? Incendiary powder of some sort. How strange. Who would do such a thing? Might I take a moment of your time? And okay, the final deed for quests in in the North Downs. Uh, seven points of reputation, uh, virtue, XP, Lotro points, very well. Flaming powder! I like this not at all. I want to know how it came here, but more than that, I want to ensure that it never comes here again. Speak with Aggie at the span and see if she knows anything of this. This black fire stuff. I have never seen anything like it. Alright, there we go. So, quest in the North Downs, uh, Dits of the North Downs, but I don't think we can complete this one anytime soon, or at least I'm not willing to invest all the time needed for that. I, I don't know anything, I'm sure. Captain Trotter is right to be afraid of this black fire. It must be the orcs that have been cropping up near here of late to the northeast near the pass of Nanwatrin. Surely they have wrought some fell magic and are using it to bring down our town and choke off the Greenway. We cannot let them bury a thun. They failed to destroy us once, so we must assume that they will try again. You cannot let them. Okay. So before we go to the orc encampment, let me check really quick in here. The levels of our virtues. Because I think... They are quite low level, if I'm being honest. Let's level up confidence a little bit, as it is the one that it's most under leveled of them all. And what do we have here? Would you do something for me? Mm, don't remember this one. So let's do it. You there? I need your help. Our poor town is under threat of another attack from those foul orcs. All of us are doing our part to help Trestlebridge survive, and I'm charged with getting supplies to maintain the barricades. The problem is that the outlying farmers were supposed to be bringing some of the supplies we need, only their farms were overrun by orcs. They barely escaped and the orcs scattered their goods. I would send for supplies from the south, but orcs blocked that route as well. We need those stolen supplies. 
The three things we need are the barrel of nails they were carrying, a crate of hammers and a crate of saws. The orcs should have had them at their camps to the northeast. Yes, Skirlif, there we go. Uh, let me refresh my memory once again. What we're missing, block, yelling skills, critical strike, safeguard, persevere, more blocking attacks, war cry, and fear of assault. Okay. Orcs. A number of Tarkir orcs have established encampments along the roads near Trestle Bridge and the Greenway, posing a dire threat to the people of the Western North Downs. We can also get this one. A number of cruel Kremine have settled in alongside the Tarkir orcs, waiting to feast upon the corpses of men when the orcs have had their say. These merciless birds should be driven off, or they fill it with an unpleasant sense of foreboding. And let us just... Perfect time to try out our new skill, that's great. So they are going down real quick, which is good, as we can do this part of of the quest real quick. We got the cold drone and the torch. They explode. So now there should be another encampment uh, or here ish. There we go. Here's another one. This one here. So let us just pull everyone. And we also completed Orc Slayer. You have cleared the Tar Creep encampments threatening Trestle Bridge. The people of the North Downs are safer for a time. Um, well, Orc, the Slayer, Hero of the North Downs as the title. Uh, okay. Now Orc Slayer advanced. And five Lotro points. Right. Ah! I'm debating on, on whether or not 
go back to Esselden right now, or or complete some of the quests in in here. But I think I'm leaning more towards completing the quests in in Trestle Bridge before continuing with the epic. As far as I remember, um, what's gonna happen after you go to Halvorad is well, we're gonna go back to Trestle Bridge to defend it, but it's gonna be an instance. So. So we can advance the other things. Much was it all destined for us? Or perhaps they were planning it to bring it along to Bree once we were all dead. Evil surrounds us, Breathan. This is a bad time, mark my words. I've never seen orcs dare to come so close or interfere with our lives other than scare travelers on the road. I've never seen such great numbers of them. You'll be wanting to tell Captain Trotter all about this. And that I will. What do you need? Oh, wonderful! You found the supplies! Thank you! There is something else, though, that I would have you do, if you would. Stay a moment. You see, the other thing needed for the barricades is wood. In the past, we would fell trees in the nine watering when we needed lumber, but now the orcs lurk there. We were so desperate for lumber that my husband Maddie and my brother Noel Tobit risked leaving Trestle Bridge and went north along the Greenway proper in search of trees to fell. It has been too long since I've heard from them and I'm worried something terrible has happened. Would you search north along the greenway for them? I can't bear to think that something bad might have happened to them. So this quest is a little bit out of the way. Um, but... Oh, who knows, maybe we can get to complete it. How can I be of service? You found something to prove that we were drugged. That is wonderful, Bariathan. You must show the captain at once, so that he can set me free. Stay a moment. Please, show the sleeping draught to Captain Trotter. Then he will know I was not remiss in my duties. We have been sabotaged. What can I do for you? Captain Trotter listens to your explanation and takes a deep snip from the potion flask. The orcs broke this, did they? This is not good for us. It appears they have taken to using sabotage when their raids have been dashed against our defenses at the trestle span. I suppose Talbot may be freed from his bonds, but the guards must be on the alert for any suspicious travelers from this point on. It is a sad day for Trestle Bridge. What can I do for you? So the orcs were behind it all, eh? But how did they come in if nobody saw them? Hopefully, you have ensured that they won't be back to the same mischief anytime soon, which will give us time to rebuild, but there are still mysteries to be solved. How did they sneak the stuff in? Uh, not sure. We'll see to that later. I cannot thank you enough for your help, good Beriathan. I do not know if you have ever been thrown in the socks, but I can tell you it is not a comfortable experience. I do think Captain Trotter was ready to hang me for what happened. You have likely saved my life, my friend. What can I do for you? Hmm. Well then, I'm glad that the vehicle is over with. Perhaps now we can focus on more present issues. Can I speak with you a moment? I wonder, Beriathan, did you even find the brewer of the foul potion while you explored the orc encampments? You told Captain Trotter that you had no such luck. Aha, uh -huh. that is dark news indeed, for it means that the enemy's influence stretches further than I ever thought. I have a troubling notion that Nan Watherin has fallen to orcs. The pass of Nan Watherin is a dangerous place in the best of times. If you wish to help Trestlebridge once and for all, you must wipe out the orc presence from Nan Watherin. 
So by doing this and by exploring non water we will go get to the point where we can complete the epic to get the elves to come to the council. If you remember, I told you about that on the you. previous episode. So we're gonna get there really soon. The question remains as to how the suspicious powder got into town at all. We have many travelers here being on the greenway, and I did hear rumors of an ugly, mean-looking man that came through last night. I didn't see him myself, but he made a few folks uneasy. He was already gone when I went to look for him. Folks says he looked more than a little orcish. Have you heard of such a such a thing? Well, orc schemer. Okay. I'm gonna get to that point eventually. I just wasn't sure if the quest was gonna have us go back to, to the northern uh, Reland. But that's not the case. Um, so yeah. We are ready to move on to Nan Wathering. And what I think we're gonna do, gonna enter Nan Wathering from the western side over here, and we're gonna make our way all the way to the east. That way we will complete all the quests here in the area. We will kill the orc boss for the epic with the elves, and then we will leave Nan Wathering from this pass over here on the east and meet Gildur and Glorion once again. And once we complete that, we will be ready to go back to Esteldin. And, um, and continue the epic with the race of men. Sounds about right, right? So, let's get to it. Hoping we would be able to do all all these quests in, in Nanwathren before the end of the episode. I think the area can be quite quite lengthy, but since we are a few levels over it, we might be able to do it really quick. It's just that before going into Nanwathren, there is there there is one or two more quests here in, in this area, I believe. In this little camp. Yeah. As you can see here. You have discovered an old map page of some apparent historic significance upon or an orc slain in the Tarkrip Assault Camp. You should defeat Tarkrip orcs in the Assault Camp and collect any other pages you find. So recover these goods. A number of crates lie scattered throughout the working camp in northeast of Trestle Bridge, likely looted from the town. You should search the crates and collect anything that should be returned to the devastated town. We're gonna do all this really quick. And then we proceed. defeated a number of the invading crevine, that's good. 
and you have found a great number of scattered pages in the Tar Group Assault Camp. This will surely be better off back in the hands of the people of Trestle Bridge rather than in the claws of the Skimming Orcs. And now we're only missing the stolen goods. Collected the Founder's Book of Trestle Bridge wearing an inscription of belonging to the Shelton family. And you have found all the missing pages from the valuable historic artifact. That's it, basically, I believe. Um, hmm, yeah. Work Bounty, no. Spider Bounty, no. Work Bounty, no. Yeah. That's basically it. So, we're ready to venture into Nan Wathren by crossing this bridge over here and there we go Strongholds Exploration, well, we'll check that in just a moment. You have come to the edge of Nan Watran, you may enter if you wish, but it will be a dangerous path. So, somewhere within Nan Watran lies an enemy potion brewer, deadly in his craft. You should find and defeat the Tarkrip Defiler. There we'll go. Now, we need to find the Eastern Pass, he grew for his soup to map. I'm not sure if if everything is in here, I don't think so. What? <laughs> and stepping to the edge of the gorge of Nan Wathrin, you see that it has fallen utterly into the hands of the Tarkip orcs. You should defeat orcs in Nan Wathrin, but bring companions with you wherever you go from this point forward, for it is deadly within. The Crevine of Nan Watrin cast their spine as far and wide, so we need to defeat 15 of them. Uh, to take care of these guys So far, so good. And we are moving on at a really good pace, I think. Okay, 
Okay. So. I think with this one, this guy's over here, it should be enough. Missing one render, so let's get this guy in here. You have defeated a number of orcs from Western and Watering. That's good. Now, broken urns. This is for tier two, I believe. So we no longer need those. Journeyman, yeah. We're missing three more crevine. Here's one. Just two more. Hopefully, they are close by. That's Raven number one. Here's the defiler. Stop, stop. Okay, you have defeated the defiler, and now you hear the clanking of hammers not far from here. Whenever the orcs deign to build, the construction has only one use war. You should find and disable the siege engines and stop their construction once and for all. Very well. So, uh, we're missing one crevain. I gotta destroy the Bruin station over here. You have defeated the defiler responsible for brewing the slipping rod that led to the catas catastrophe at Trestle Bridge. Let's take the leggings and let's begin the quest here. These guys. Alright, venturing deeper into Nan Watron has revealed even stronger breaks of Tar Crypt orcs. Alright, this is the last Krevan that we need. That's great. You have defeated a number of Krevan from the Watrin. Now we need to kill these goblins in here. Goblins of Nanwatrin have been found to be in possession of valuable Elvish relics pillaged from an unknown place called, called Meluinen. Not unknown, we have already been there. You should gather relics from the goblins and their hidden caches in hope that they may someday be restored to Meluinen. Okay. Uh, so we have someone join us. Aleriel, Lord Master. It is gonna be good. Perfect. So, so, yeah, collecting these relics can be quite a pain as the quest requires you to get a lot of them. Yeah, 
that those guys really don't stand a chance. That's great. So, this is the first of the sea changings. And here is another one. So now, I think if we cross the bridge, we will be getting to the new, well, to the next area sooner than expected. There is still plenty of stuff for us to do on this lower level of the area. Engines, here's number four. Ah! And here's okay, number five and number six. I see them already. Now we need to defeat the siege engine here, and I think this one is indeed located in the upper portion of the area. I'm not quite sure on that, but I'm I'm almost certain about that. Perfect. So. Three raging tar creeps, one no one, seven marksmen, two taskmasters. Perfect. Here's another violent one. But yeah, this is the Eastern Pass. I think. Yeah. Gotta find the, the engineer first. But the engineer. Another siege. The engineer is on this area. 
Okay, so now we need to to climb or well to, to use the bridge that you saw uh, earlier. So let's go and look for it. Hopefully some of these mobs would have respawned. We can continue completing the other quests as well. Um, okay, at least one goblin chest. I think I can get this one. I think this look a good place to drop on the elf stones power. Not really. <laughs> Brawlers, no. This is not where we need to go yet. Let me see, I'm trying to. Oh god. To picture this, to Find a way once again. Perfect. Now Okay, yeah, I see the bridge now. We're gonna try going through there instead. Okay, I got the relics. You have defeated a number of goblins from Nan Wathrin and reclaimed the relics of ancient Meluinen. You have honored the memory of the elves who once roamed these lands. Perfect. Now we need to get six more target marksmen and uh, how many tax masters, fight masters? Two more of those. No. Okay, let's try and cross this bridge as I think we will find the Siege Master we're looking for. I, I, I believe. I'm quite sure that the Siege Master is in one of these upper areas. And you need to kill the Siege Master before you're able to continue with the other quests. So... Where is he? <clears throat> on that. Um, yeah, the Siege Engineer should be up top, I believe. Uh, 
Fight master, but that one's a little. Those ones are, are a little bit harder to, to come by. So here they are, the siege engineers. Come on, wake up. You have come much of Nanwatheran, but there is one corner yet unexplored. Your heart warns you that this last venture deep into the past will be dangerous. You have destroyed the remaining plans for a fresh attack on Trestle Bridge. Uh, you have done much to ensure the safety of Trestle Bridge this day. The Dark Rift Siege machines have been dismantled and the plans of attack have been allayed. And now that uh, we have progress through that portion of the quest, the Brawlers and the Shankers become available. Well, their quests become available. As it said, the Orcs of Nanwatra not only grow stronger and more cruel as you press further into the past. You should defeat the Tarkrip Shankers and Brawlers you encounter as you make your way through the eastern edge of Nanwatra. best just go all in from the get-go so yeah using my my biggest gambits from the very start because as you see these guys oh god they got me Well, this is a great moment to pop up a good conviction, good old conviction, and tear up my self heals. That's it. So. This is a portion in which you need to be really careful. Let me see what we have here that might be useful. And I don't know, this looks nice. Agility, Vitality, Fate, Block, Rating. Let's try this one. Did she fall? Did she locked out? I oh, know, there she is. to come <clears throat> okay. but since the episode is I mean since we are still 
missing quite a lot to do here in Nanwath right now. The episode is getting quite lengthy already. I think we're gonna split this section, uh, end it here, and complete the rest on next episode. I think that would be best, so so that we don't get uh, an episode that is what one hour and ten minutes long, or even more than that. So yeah, better to take that that precaution. I think. I'll see you back on the next episode, where we will continue present forward on Nan Wathren and uh, yeah, make sure that the orc threat on the Nordowns is taken care of, at least as much as we can. In any case, I will see you back on the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning back again to Citadel Guard Adventures. Stay safe, take care of yourself. And I'll see you back soon.